this thing and I've even envisioned it. Take your dream, write it down. That is what some people say. Some people say I dreamt and you know, I can't really figure out what the interpretation of this dream is all about. But uh, of lately I've come to realize you can also eat and dream <laughs> just because of how you ate. And there is nothing so fancy about that dream. <laughs> Beloved viewer, today we are looking at one of the characters of the Bible, one of the, <coughs> w- w- one of the characters I most admire in the Bible, and his name is Joseph, and uh, he is a son to the study that <coughs> we had previously of Jacob, the first son of r- the beloved Rachel, and uh, welcome even as we look into the study of this. We are looking at uh, our episode number 11 of the book of Genesis. Mm-hmm. With me here, uh, studio, I have uh, 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 teachers of the word of God and the scriptures. Uh, they do well to say hi to us. Let's uh, hear their voices. Uh, uh, engineer. I greet you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank this you. Is engineer Elder Opere. We also have brother Roland Woodhock <coughs> with us here in studio. Sons and daughters of the Most High, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brother Migoku. Welcome, uh, welcome uh, Brother Migoku. You will pray with us even as we start. Shall we pray? Thank you, Lord, for um, bringing us here so that we can be able to delve deeper into your word. We ask that you bring into remembrance what you have studied. And to the viewers, I pray that you impress upon their hearts so that they may be drawn closer to you. May your name be lifted up. May you increase as we decrease. It is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. <coughs> Beloved viewer, take your Bible, take your pen or paper, and jot down the major points. The lessons that we write down will help us to move. If you are a young man, this is a lesson for you. Mm. If you have been having dreams and you've been thinking, how, 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 how are the dreams come in my life? As I said before, by the way, you can eat and, and, and don't have time between eating and digestion and you sleep, you will dream. <laughs> you are falling from home somewhere. Something is chasing Nightmares. you. Nightmares. <laughs> and you, uh, yes? Nightmares. Nightmares, and you wake up in the morning thinking, wow, what is happening in my life? You mm. want to go and start praying? No. Sometimes <laughs> it's all about it. But these ones that we are looking at today are drill dreams given mm. by the Lord. Yeah. Uh, Elder and uh, Brother Migok. Yep. Chapter 37, 38, mm-hmm. and 39 of... Uh, Genesis and 40, we are looking even in 41, mm-hmm. we are looking at a very uh, bunch of, of, of the scriptures. Mm-hmm. Joseph is the one who was, I've asked, he, he has a, a, a huge bunch of the book of Genesis talking about him. Mm-hmm. And we, are, we have gone, we've come down from Abraham, then we came to his son Isaac, we came to Jacob. Now we are also picking one of his sons, we've, pick it, we've picked who? we picked Joseph, mm-hmm. who is the son of Rachel. Uh, uh, Rachel was the first was the first wife to be, but she became the second wife after Laban tricked uh, the supplanter. After the trick, uh, tricked the one who was uh, uh, the, the, to marry, and he married Leah. Mm. So I'm reading chapter 37. Our key text, verse 19. He says, uh, "Then said to one, then then they say to one another, Look, this dreamer is coming." Elder, when you hear the name Joseph, what rings in your mind? Uh, thank you. A lot of things comes to people's minds. <coughs> but to me, uh, one, somebody was very steadfast. Steadfast. Somebody also suffered at a childhood. Mm. And somebody who has also, the resolve which he had steadfast, as which uh, is envied mm, even mm. in this current generation. Mm, mm. So, and also now as a government officer, somebody who was an administrator par excellence, mm. which I really admire. You admire the excellence of his administration. Administration. Amen. <laughs> Brother Migo, what do you, how, how, when you hear <coughs> Joseph? In fact, um, the government that Joseph served. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, we'll see that Potiphar also says that this man has the spirit of God. <laughs> so when I hear about Joseph, mm-hmm. I see um, firmness, just like my brother has said. Mm. I see um, faithfulness uh, amidst difficult moments of bitterness and resentment and all that, but he still stands. I see um, success. Success. I see wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah. 
Amen. Beloved viewer, I come to learn in my in my long or short life that I have that uh, the, it is not how successful we are in life, but it is how faithful we are <laughs> that it's counted success. So Joseph portrays a life of faithfulness, mm -hmm. and then he portrays a life of uh, of resilience, mm -hmm. and he portrays a life of faith in the unseen. Mm. Do you have you? Uh, have, have you been faithful when the test comes? You know Abraham was tested. Has your faith been tested? Mm. Joseph underwent this. So we will uh, read uh, chapter 37. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, verse 1 says, And Jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. Mm -hmm. And it goes, and in <coughs> verse uh, 3, Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him coat of many colors. Mm. Uh, maybe we'll get more on this why. And when verse 4, and when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. Maybe I just pose a question to us. We saw previously uh, two teams that mm -hmm. were in the, in, the, in the scriptures, Team mm -hmm. Jacob and Team uh, uh, Esau. The mm -hmm. mother loved uh, es uh, Jacob, mm -hmm. the father loved Esau. Mm -hmm. Is this the same thing that is coming to the family? <laughs> it's trickling down. <laughs> is it? Yeah, yeah. There, there is something here which we, we are seeing the common human nature, the, the degeneration, the generation. which is jealousy. Something mm -hmm. which is common with us even today. Mm -hmm. It is continuing, perpetuating itself. We saw it, uh, like you have said, in Jacob. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, when he saw the 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 the, the, the parents, mm. Esau, Esau and Jacob, Jacob in this case, all, it is also manifesting itself here, mm. and so which is showing us that these people are human. Mm. They were human, and we are dealing with we we are seeing God coming down in our lives amid is the human challenge, God yeah. which down is amazed. jealousy. Jealousy. Which is jealousy. And favoritism. And favoritism. Favoritism. Mm. And uh, unfortunately, <coughs> somebody reason that it is in this case because it is polygamist. <laughs> While we saw in the case of Isaac, it was not polygamy. It was mm. one It was just family. monogamy, mm. but they were still, it, and they were twins. Mm. So you can see how sin can penetrate, penetrate whether you are identical, the so-called identical, or fraternal, or fr fraternal mm. it still exists. Mm. So let me read uh, the, the, the <coughs> continuing verses. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he says, And Joseph dream, dreamed a dream, and he told it, it, it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed, for behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf arose and stood up, I uh, stood upright, and behold, your sheep stood round about and made obeisance to my sheep. And his brethren said unto him, Shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him, yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And and he dreamed dreams. And in verse 37, he says that, uh, and uh, the man said they were, uh, 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 and they hated him. Uh, the, 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 the verse, um, uh, verse 11, sorry. And his brethren end with him, but his father observed the saying so we realize that he dreams mm. he it is like the lord has chosen mm -hmm. but he dreams he offers uh, his <coughs> to 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 share the dream with his family because family are the first people to share with yeah. but later on this brings a discord in the family and family troubles they sell the brother mm. well, Amigo, <coughs> maybe that what 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 how is this all about bringing troubles in the family mm. Mm. Okay, first, um, it's important for us to note that the brothers, it was evident mm. that um, Joseph was the one who was loved the most. Eh? Mm, he them. was also given a, a very nice coat. A very, in, in fact, it said <laughs> that um, that coat symbolized leadership mm. um, because the kind of coat that um, the Royalty. Egyptians those days could give or um, the Hebrews and, and, and in terms of culture, it would symbolize like Jacob was send, send, sending a message to the children mm. that my first, uh, my, my, my most preferred person mm. is actually Joseph. So this, of course, triggered mm. some strife. Eh? Mm. So you can imagine um, he comes and then he talks about the dream to the <laughs> same, same children or the brothers and the siblings who are older than him. Remember by then he was very, very, he was young. He was not he was very young. Yeah. And so again, it... Um, the, the, the dream does not go well 
with the brothers mm. because they don't see the way this young man can actually be in a leadership position whereby now we are going to serve him. So is this that is 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 this the reason as to why they attack him in in, in such a way and want to 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 sell him or to kill him? Actually, to some extent, it brews. It 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 boils to something bigger. Because okay. remember, when uh, they were grazing, mm -hmm. um, I mean, when when they were taking care of the animals, uh, yes. they saw him later from afar, mm. and they start having a discussion. Mm. What do we do with this person? <laughs> what, what do we do? Do we kill him? Do we, do we kill sell him? him? Mm. And all those things. All those things. Why, why is that the negative things are coming to, his, to their minds? Mm. It must have been, in my view, they must have had this discussion. Why is it that they are the ones who are going to take care of the cattle and, and their son is remaining? Home. Why is it so? So they saw that he was loved the most and so that brewed a lot of um, jealousy. And so it, again, um, inspired um, negativity or um, negative thoughts, between. strife, and then later on they decide to betray him by selling him. And including any <coughs> uh, 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 engineer. Yeah, uh, uh, some things I want to bring here. Uh, when we start with chapter 37, something struck me here. Mm. It says, now Jacob dwelt in the land where his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. Mm. <coughs> now, it is now Jacob who is settled. Mm -hmm. The other ones who are strangers mm. in the land which God had Have purposed been. for, mm. them. for mm. them. At least now they are finally settled. Mm. Fulfillment of that prophecy. Your descendants will live in that land. Mm. Jacob has now settled mm -hmm. in the land. Mm -hmm. Then in verse 2, this is the history of Jacob, mm -hmm. Joseph being 17 years old. Mm -hmm. History of Jacob is gi being given, <laughs> oh but it is well. being given on the perspective of Joseph. Yeah, Joseph being the Who was first feeding person. the flock with his brothers, and the lad was with the sons of Bilha mm. and the son of, sons of Zilpah. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering why was he only with the sons of Bilhah and Zilpah alone, while mm -hmm. the sons of Leah also well, not here? Being recognized. But why is it that the sons of Leah <laughs> are not being mentioned, while with the mm -hmm. wife and the majority <laughs> in this case? <laughs> so, uh, okay, that might be a discussion for mm -hmm. another day, but it may also give us a glimpse mm -hmm. of the favoritism mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which was one. there mm -hmm. Be on their mothers, mm. ah. that it, it, it is like Kevin, uh, the father did not want to be associated with the layer, mm. so even the name should not feature mm. anywhere. Anywhere, Amen. that it is only the sons of them, the the maids mm. being mentioned. mentioned. El Elder, you will pause there, yes, so that we <coughs> go for a short break, a short, short, short <laughs> break, <laughs> especially on what. Favorism mm -hmm. can bring birth into. Mm. Beloved, we are going for a short break, but as Elder said, that it is not hard to see that favorism causes rift in a community, in a family, mm -hmm. in workplace, mm. even in church. Mm -hmm. And uh, we say that uh, I'm, 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 my, my, my panelists will help us to know is it okay to share your dream with others? Mm. <laughs> We will be right far, be right back after this short break and uh, stay with us. Welcome back, beloved viewer. Uh, Joseph, brothers, Jacob. Favorism, trouble in the family. Is it possible to sell your brother, by the way? <laughs> I, I, one day I'll ask my brother if I want to, what can I do for them to decide they want to sell me? I don't know what they tell me. We, uh, sorry, I did not introduce our sign interpreter. She is sign language interpreter. She is Sarah. Sarah is interpreting to us in the other language, and uh, we thank the Lord for her. We uh, continue with our discourse. I paused you, Elder, yeah. as you can progress from that point. On yeah. Favor favorism for yeah. me. What, what, yeah. The, the point is, you look at verse 2, it shows 
uh, you, you find an inclination. We are being told Joseph was, Joseph being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers. Mm. And the lad was with the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought a bad report of them to his father. Mm. Does it mean the sons of Leah were not there? They were there, I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> and does it mean only the bad report were only mm. pertaining to the sons, the sons of the Leah. maiden wives? Mm. So, but the point here, you see, verse 3 says, Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, mm. because he was the son of his old age. Also, he made him a tunic of many colors, as Brother Megok had said. Mm. It is like Jacob was managing his succession. <laughs> mm. <laughs> subtly, I get you. Yes. Subtly managing his succession yeah, on who by giving take over. indication. He was being prophetic yes. by action. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of who In should seven. be the, the, the successor, who should have the birthright. Mm. Of course, being the firstborn of his preferred wife, mm. maybe he was sending signals on managing his succession, which naturally generated jealousy. Mm. And probably it is because the mother had died mm. when he was young. Mm. So his affection clung closely to, to, to him. Yeah. Uh, uh, the affection of Joseph clung to his father. Mm. And Jacob's heart was bound uh, uh, <coughs> in his child, mm -hmm. or the child of his old age. Of, of but of even this affection was to become a cause of trouble. Many time, many a time uh, during family life, I think this text is used so much to teach parents on how to show affection <laughs> to their children. Fairness. Without, yeah. without having any favor on anyone. Yes. Amen. But the point which I want to bring here is that Joseph was being favored, but Jesus said some words in the book of Matthew chapter 20, verse 26, chapter that 20. if you want to be great, mm -hmm. you have chapter to 20, and verse 26. I'll read. Yes. It <coughs> says, uh, chapter 20, verse 26 of the book of Matthew says, But it shall, be, it shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. Yes. Or be a servant. Which, an attribute which was later shown by Joseph when he really became a servant to serve others later in his life. Mm. So the point I want to draw here is that many times we jostle for positions, but the Bible is giving us a biblical position that if you want to be great, then we should be driven by the need to be of service to others, Amen. not to lord on others. Mm -hmm. Amen. Brother Migok, we see <coughs> trouble in the family. Mm -hmm. The young man bringing news to the father and later on the brother selling him because of what happened mm -hmm. and he becomes a slave in Egypt. Mm. And uh, is he still faithful in where he goes? Mm. And now what lessons can we learn? <coughs> Maybe before we go further, mm -hmm. and uh, he says in, uh, 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 they, they sold him, of course, in verse chapter 37, when we read verse number 29, and, and, and you go downwards. But in verse 30, we mm -hmm. get a, 38, we get a change of, 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 uh, of, the, of, of, of some things. He said that it came to pass that at that time, Judah went down from his brethren and turned into a, 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 a certain Adulamite whose mm -hmm. name was Hira. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 2, and Judah saw that there a daughter of certain Canaanite whose name was Shua, and he took and went into her, and mm -hmm. she conceived and bare a son and called his name Er. Mm -hmm. And she conceived again and bare a son and called his name Onan. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, it continues, and, uh, and, and, and later on we'll, we learn about that. Mm -hmm. uh, it, in, in chapter 38, mm -hmm. It is talking about uh, Judah. Judah. Yeah. yeah. Because Judah what now goes away. What uh, lessons can we learn from Judah? Okay. Before we learn lessons from Judah, mm -hmm. it's important for us to mention something that uh, maybe it happens today. Mm -hmm. And I think it's an issue of betrayal. Betrayal. Betrayal and a possibility of resentment. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Jacob comes from a place where he is loved to a place where he does not know where he's going. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine, you can go with me in your imagination. This person has been sold off. He's been betrayed and by Joseph. the people. Who, yeah, mm. he's been bet betrayed by those people who loved him. Mm. Now he's going, um, and the more he's drawn further away, the more he's seen 
the house of the father dimming and growing dim and dim and dim. Mm -hmm. The love that he knew is growing dim and dim and dim. The preference, the special preference that he had, he's no longer having it. He does not know where he's going. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm. So you can imagine, it was an opportunity for him to be bitter mm. with his family. Yes. It was an opportunity for him to be resentful with his brothers. Mm. But, but he, he did not. Amen. So that tells us something, that mm. even us, sometimes with human beings, they can be selfish. Very but selfish. let us remember that we need to anchor ourselves in the Lord. Mm. So that at the point of distress, the only person who can come out of our character is actually the character of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The, the song asks, will your anchor hold? Yeah. Uh, just before Mevo comes, before we leave there, you had asked something about the dream. Mm. Mm. It is known in the American history of I Have a Dream mm. of Martin Luther. Martin Luther. King. Yeah. And you asked, is it good to share your dreams with people? Mm. I would say yes and no. Mm -hmm. As a leader, you can only inspire mm -hmm. others when you share with them mm -hmm. your a dream, dream. Mm. where you lack to take them mm. so that they buy into it. Mm. Like now we are being told, mm. politicians tell us of the Canaan, mm. where we are being to taken, taken to the land where uh, <coughs> Jacob mm -hmm. now became a fi finally settled in. Yeah. Mm. Those uh, sharing the dream. Mm. But it is also important, like what we are seeing here, mm -hmm. you see these people were very good in interpreting the dream. Mm. They became dream interpreters. Mm -hmm. Yes. The people who are pulling him down. Mm -hmm. It is also good to be wise mm -hmm. on how, what to share with others. What yeah. share because with many a times, <coughs> those whom we thought are going to cherish our dream mm -hmm. become the dream killers. My dream killer. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, Brother Miko, because, you know, this discourse, we have so many chapters and yes, we have yes, a limited yes. time. Yes. So, you want to touch at least on everything. So, yeah, that so we, you enjoyed that. We got a bite on, the, on, 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 the, on, that, on that cake. <coughs> yes. So, in, 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 so in, in, in two minutes, in one minute, uh -huh. the story of Judah and Tamar. Okay. What, so what lessons do we derive from Okay. It? So, the story of Judah is very interesting. Number one, he has three sons. First of all, after the selling of the of their brother he get he feels guilty mm. and he says no i'm not go longer going to stay here mm. let me go and start my own family yes so that he can be, because he realized a lot of um, strife mm. amongst themselves so yes. when he goes and starts his own family um he gets er onan and uh, shela and shela yes so er marries uh, tamar then later on um he dies mm. then onan is advised by the father to do what to, 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 to keep inherit. the generation going. Yes, to keep the generation going. Yes. Then um, Onan um, decides to, um, um, the Bible is very um, humble <laughs> enough to say that um, that he spilled it on the ground. Yes. Lest um, that he should give seed to, to his, his brother. brother. So Onan did not want to mm. give, um, uh, uh, to, re to procreate. The generation, okay? yes. To the generation. So again, he comes and dies. And dies. Then, um, um, Judah, Judah tells Tamar, now you, what you do, go to your father. Because Shelah is still young. <laughs> As we are waiting for him to grow, mm. you can be waiting for, for, uh, for him. Uh, Judah didn't want to lose Tamar as a, mm. as a daughter. That yeah. is why he had opted for that option. Mm. But you can imagine how Tamar was feeling. Her life had to stop for some time mm. because mm. she has to wait for, for Shelah for sure. to come. Which again, sometimes in our lives I see it happening. Many people who lose um, their husbands, um, they are for, uh, when at a young <coughs> age, they are forced to, to get married again. No, to actually stay like that. When they are still burning with passions. When they are still burning to passions. Yes. Or maybe they have a desire to have somebody to help them mm, to grow. But the vow says still let do as So you, <laughs> yes. are, you, are, you are allowed so, to marry. <laughs> so um, I'm seeing something very similar here. Yeah. However, later on, uh, Judah comes and um, sleeps with Tamar without knowing Not that knowing. Tamar... Tamar was actually, um, she actually, I mean, he th actually thought that Tamar was a harlot. So actually, these are two people doing wrong. One yes. is uh, acting as a prostitute. Yes. The other one is looking for prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's also another thing that we need to look at in terms of um, uh, brokenness. The faith, brokenness. Brokenness. This thing that didn't start here. Judah started must have right. inherited a behavior that started later on. Um Again, let, again, we are coming to see that um, um, uh, Judah um, um, does what? I'm trying to remember the... He's, he's rebuking 
the Tamar, mm -hmm. and then he actually says that um, he needs to be, she needs to be killed because that's the result of somebody who is caught in so a the same act thing of that adultery. Judah does mm -hmm. for him it is okay it does mm -hmm. not need to be rebuked because yes. him it has not been known yeah but for Tamar who has been caught and known that she is a prostitute yeah. it is wrong he is condemned for that you are condemned for actually you are condemning what you are doing yeah then that. later on I think what um, struck me is um, when, when Tamar is brought so that he can go to explain herself, she actually brings an evidence and says the, all this that I have, the bracelet and um, the, the regalia, actually belongs to who? They belong to, to Judah. At that point, Judah... Actually says the owner of this yes, is the one... Is the owner of the child. Yes. He actually owns up. He humbles himself and he says, actually, I'm sorry. In fact, um, Tamar, you are more righteous than myself. Mm. I think for me that um, um, explained a lot of humility. Sometimes when you're exposed before people, we want to put pride and we deny. Mm. And we see this in ma with many politicians saying that they're not corrupt, yet they were, for <laughs> example. Um, and it even does, happens to us as Christians. As Christians when somebody also. comes and rebukes you, you do not want to accept the truth. Mm. So for Judah, I see that he actually changes. And at that point, by the way, later on he changes and then we see him being blessed by, by Actually, the Judah is now yeah. the, 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 the family, that the, the name that now inherits the, la, the, the lion of tribe of Judah. Yes. Elder engineer, mm -hmm. let, me, let me fast forward you to the book of John chapter number 8. The woman who was caught in adultery mm. is brought to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. Yeah, uh, this is the irony of us human beings that um, we, are able to see. we are able to see the speck mm. in somebody's eye than mm -hmm. our own. Mm. And I think this is a very humbling experience or te a lesson we are getting here that uh, <coughs> we should not be driven by the fear of what people will know or say, but the fear of oh. God. Amen. Mm. That Amen. when we sin, we are not singing just against people, mm. even though sin has got triple domino effect even to others, but we should move first of all knowing it is God mm. to whom we are accountable first. Amen. So if that is what could have been uh, the driving factor to Judah, the same way it was in the case of the woman, mm. people would have been uh, very much cautious on how they were handling it because even the victims with whom she was involved were among the throng <laughs> who were, which were shouting, we, she has been found. Yeah. So to me here is that what should drive us first is, is it well with me and God? Mm -hmm. So when we are at peace with God in whatever we are doing, is it in accordance with God's will? Mm -hmm. That one will dictate whether people are seeing us or not. Amen. Amen. Uh, beloved viewer, <coughs> I, I, I was learning some lesson there that um, God can use the troublesome family difficult situations as a way to show the rest of the people that when he has <coughs> called you and he has given you a dream, a purpose, he follows through and it will come to pass mm -hmm. in his own time. Mm -hmm. Although the vision may tarry, it will come to pass. Mm -hmm. But the call is, are you faithful unto the call of God? Am I faithful unto the call of God? Things come, things go, but the faithfulness of God mm -hmm. is that which he has called us unto. We are going for a short break. We shall be right back to continue with this wonderful discussion. May you not so much beloved viewer this discourse of uh, joseph is so nice we can take the whole day here but uh, allow us to take the little time that we have so that we jot down and uh, have a bite on the cherry on the lessons we have uh, brother mikok we have as, as you were speaking before in the off air that we have women also in the bible who are dysfunctional but the lord comes through for them maybe you can give us a lesson on one and two before we move down to Joseph's faithfulness being in Egypt. Yeah, so um, the issue of Tamar is very interesting and also quite sad. Mm. You can imagine the father-in-law um, getting a child 
for you. Mm. It's very complicated. Um, but again, you see the brother to Judah also doing a similar act mm. with the mother. The um, I think it was Reuben. Reuben. Yeah. Bilha. And Bilha. So this is a behavior that um, uh, it's a pattern that is kind of within the family. And so sometimes the lesson that we can learn here is we need to learn how to study our family and patterns so that we can go to stop, um, especially when things are in the negative. Amen. Quickly moving to um, Tamar, mm -hmm. we see that Tamar gets, um, per, was it Perez? Perez, per, Perez and uh, Zara. Mm -hmm. And so it is through the lineage of Perez that we find the promised child or the promised son uh, that is uh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. And then we are seeing that um, in that same lineage, mm. there is also Rahab, who was also considered to be a prostitute. Um, then we also have Ruth, mm. um, who Mohammed. at some point was a widow, a mm. widow, and then um, um, she finds um, Jesse. Then later on, we also see Uriah, yeah. Uriah's wife, that was mm. Bathsheba. Bathsheba. Again, complication, <laughs> all right? Then later on, we are coming to see Mary, the mm. mother of Jesus Christ, who was also married to a widow, who was Joseph. So, so, so two lineages that are complicated, troublesome, yes. but within that troublesome, Jesus the Christ Lord raises in. up uh, yeah. the, 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 the lamb. I think the lesson that you can draw there mm -hmm. is that in as much as because of sin and our lives being broken, <coughs> uh, we have hope that Jesus Christ can convert that brokenness oh. into something that is perfect. Amen. We can fill the emptiness in our hearts mm. with something that is very, very good. Mm. And Christ represents perfection. Amen. Christ represents redemption. He represents restoration. Amen. And so today, even to our viewers, should you be there and you are in a broken family, maybe a dysfunctional family, just remember that Jesus Christ is ready to reconcile, to restore, and to redeem you. Amen. To re re repair, restore, and to redeem you. Mm. We are looking to chapter 39. I told you this this discourse is, 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 is such a huge one. Like any we, we will look into it. Chapter 39 of Genesis. Mm. Uh, Joseph has been sold to Egypt. He's become a slave at uh, Potiphar's house. Mm -hmm. Then he's promoted. He, he's promoted. <laughs> he, you know, they say from, from a slave to uh, 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 prime minister. He went again to prison. Things like those. Yeah. Uh, elder. W the, we learn even in 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 the house of Potiphar, mm -hmm. he has so many challenges. Mm. Uh, yeah. Pick it up and tell us uh, thank what you. lessons uh, we learn from verse there. thirty nine begins that now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. Chapter thirty nine says, mm. and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, mm -hmm. captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him from the Ishmaelites who had taken him down there. Mm. Yusuf was sold by the Ishmaelite to the Ishmaelites, mm. uh, you, you, and you get that <laughs> uh, the Ishmaelites. A, you can see, you the, can co see where the correlation mm. comes mm. from. Yes, Ishmael and Isaac. Isaac. But all in all, he has found himself in Egypt, and then sold to Potiphar. Potiphar was like the head of the presidential guard. <laughs> but the point here, very well, which we know. Um, God was with him. The Lord was with Joseph. Uh, and he good. was a successful man. And he was in, in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Point to note here. God was with, with him. Joseph. Mm. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And that the Lord made all he did to prosper in yes. his hand. Amen. Mm. Look, there's the some lessons I learn here, which uh, are driving force even to me as a worker. Mm -hmm. uh, I strive to be a worker whom, whatever I touch, I pray that God blesses them, Amen. like he did to Joseph. So, irrespective of where we are, when we are with the Lord, that mm -hmm. is what counts much. Amen. He's able to turn things upside down, mm -hmm. even for our favor. God was with him. Mm -hmm. And then you can find that he found favor in his sight mm -hmm. and served him. Mm. But fight fast forward, the wife to Potiphar took note of Joseph, mm. how handsome he was, and wanted to sleep with, the, the, with the him. Mm. But the point which is very key is that Joseph said that in verse 9, there is no one greater in this house than I. 
nor has he kept back anything from me but you, because you are his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against, against God? God? Mm. You find the driving force in Joseph's, Joseph's life mm -hmm. was not bec because Potiphar will know or will not know, mm -hmm. but because of God. Mm. Because of God. Because I of God. So the points I find here, which are very key, Joseph is here, he is a slave, but he is a super slave. <laughs> he is a super, super, yes. super, slave. super <laughs> slave. Why? Because God is with him. And so whatever he touches, God blesses, blesses. and makes prosper. He is just like in the book of 2 Kings chapter 5, mm. the uh, uh, Naaman, Naaman with that the, uh, was because through him, God had brought victory mm. to, to the, the Philistines. The mm. So it is the same thing, which a lesson I learn here is that anywhere with Jesus, we can safely, safely go. go. Mm. And then anywhere with Jesus, I can say That is the song that we normally sing with mm -hmm. the children. Uh, 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 beloved viewer, I was gathering some things that... Uh, Although he was a slave in, in the Potiphar's house, he served with a good attitude. He was faithful. So the lesson is, serve with an, uh, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 7 there, mm -hmm. it says, serve with a good attitude as to the Lord and not to people, knowing that whatever good each one does, slave or free, he will receive his back from the Lord. Then another point is this, whatever life throws at you, whatever life throws at me, God can equip us to cope with the dire circumstances and still be a blessing to others. Also, tragic things may happen to us, but if we continue to trust him and follow his plan for us, we will notice his blessings even in the difficult circumstances. Amen. Then, there is no excuse for sin. Mm. And when, when Joseph was in Potiphar's house, some of us say, you know, uh, the, the devil tricked me. No, hmm. there is no excuse for sin. Young people, there is no excuse for sin. Young person outside, there is no excuse for sin. We have every reason to be faithful unto the one who has called us. Because he said, he who has called us is faithful. Amen. Then lastly, even under the strongest temptation, we can still trust God to ultimately deliver us. Beloved, I'm speaking to you, a young person like me outside there, that let us be bold to faithfully stand for what is right, even when we are being dealt with unfairly. I remember the quote that was said somewhere that uh, this world calls for men, men who are true to themselves, men who will be true even though what? The events fall. Right. Brother Migok, what lessons can you also uh, give unto us? Even as we go to, uh, uh, you know, the discourse is becoming longer, mm -hmm. uh, even as we go to, 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 to the, the next chapter, mm -hmm. as he is an interpreter of the dream. Okay. He did not brag. He mm -hmm. said the dreams interpreted mm -hmm. comes from the Lord. What mm -hmm. lessons do we learn on both? Okay. So I think you've touched majorly on uh, chapter 39. So yes. we can quickly move to the other side. Yes. Um, but it's just important for us to notice that um, even in this life, we all experience points of crisis. Yes. Okay. <coughs> So it is until when you have crisis, that's when your character can ah. be revealed. So our character is tested in crisis? Yeah. So, so it's just like a sponge. When you put sponge into water and then you wring it, what will come out? It will be water that will come out, isn't it? Mm. It's the same thing with our character. Yes. When we have an experience truly with Jesus Christ, mm. whenever you are faced with a distressful moment mm. or whenever somebody betrays you, like the way Potiphar's Pot Pot wife betrayed Joseph, or something like that, what will come out will not be violence, it will not be anger, it will mm. not be rage, mm -mm. it will be the love of Jesus Amen. Christ, it will be the spirit of God. And I think that mm. is something that is major that we can take in right now because many of us right now are mentally distressed. And when they're mentally distressed, they go back and say, God has, uh, God is not with me, and they are mad at God. Mm. And, and they forget that the devil is also a propagator mm -hmm. of all these things. So. Amen. Amen. Let's Beloved be viewer, Mikok says mm -hmm. some point that I want. I just wanted to cut him short so that I ask you: Are you are you, are you guilty of the love of God <laughs> <laughs> when you are measured in the courts of justice? Will you be found guilty <laughs> of the love of God? Yeah. We are coming to the tail end yeah. and, uh, the as we come to the closing. Remarks. When we come to the dreams of Pharaoh here, Joseph finally lands in prison, and in prison he gets he is he also excels. In mm. prison. Again, in prison. 
till even the prison warden he become a super prisoner he become <laughs> a super prisoner <laughs> again then it, it, even the, the wardens like put him in charge kind of mm. then other fellow prisoners mm. have a dream there is a baker and there is a butler mm. because they had done something to the king so they were thrown into prison mm. then all these people later had dreams then the, the interpretation was given. The interpretation was given. That the one will be released. One, one will, will be, be stated yeah. to the duty, mm -hmm. the and another one that is hung. the butler. Mm -hmm. yeah. While the baker will be hung, will be, hung, mm -hmm. will be killed, mm -hmm. and it came to be. But one thing amazes me in chapter forty, verse twenty-three. Mm -hmm. or even before that, Joseph told this person, "When you go, when you find favor, mm -hmm. remember mm -hmm. me." This person forgot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of Joseph or decided to forget just yeah. like now in politics we say migoka uh, kipata hiyo nimepata migoka hata nikumbuka pengine akifika au nikipata ninasahau until something comes god in his providence made the situation the bible says yet the chief butler did not remember joseph but forgot him mm. Friends and people can forget. Mm. But Later, but you, Pharaoh had a dream mm. of seven fat cows and, and seven mm. thin ones. Mm. Seven heads, fat heads of, uh, of grain mm. and then seven thin ones. Thin ones mm. yes. And amazing thing is that the, no fa the thin ones would eat the fat one, mm. but they, there is no difference. <laughs> when this thing disturbed Pharaoh. He had to look for an interpreter. To look for an Maybe interpreter. the lessons we learn. So because my director is, is on my neck. Yeah. What are the lessons we learn from? The God? lessons we learn here mm. is that you can see that when we are with God, anywhere like we had said, God, and God is with us, he will make our paths straight. Mm. But another point I wanted to make mm. is that, which is very key and to all of us, is that we should remember that Whatever we do, they're in the presence of God. Amen. And I love the point that the Bible records mm -hmm. all the dark, even the dark parts of the lives we of even of the people he had entrusted. And think this one is a testimony that the Bible is not glossing on their faults. Mm -hmm. It is magnifying oh, them mm. to show so God knows even. Yes, and that one reveals to us that God loves us. Mm. That despite all those, you can see the dysfunctional families, somebody sleeping with the daughter-in-law, doing this and that, the Bible gives it as it is. Mm. It shows us how caring and loving God is. Amen. And which is a lesson to us that however far we could have gone to, we have a loving God. and caring Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. We go in 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Lessons we learn from number as we come to the final act. I think uh, what you can learn, dear viewers, is number one, an act of humility. When Joseph was now brought from prison facing Pharaoh, he actually said, it is not me. Mm -hmm. It is actually God Amen. who is interpreting this dream. Amen. So just in case you're there, outside there, and you're uh, flourishing, your life is good, always remember to give back that glory to God. To the mm. source. Um, lastly, um, Joseph went through very difficult moments, but at the end, we see that God remembers him and he actually elevates him to be second in command. And then he uses that position to reconcile with the family. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you could be going through a difficult moment. Just be patient. Be patient in the Lord. Amen. Because all things work for good to them who love God, to them who are called according, according to his purpose. purpose. Amen. Beloved viewer, this is such a wonderful, read, read it once again, 39, 40, 41, and 42 of, of, of the book of Genesis. You read it once again. Engineer is burning with a, a, a point. <laughs> I, I see, I'll give you 10 seconds. I see a lot of similarities between Joseph, Daniel, and even Jesus. Yes. Mm. Yes. All of them were detached from their families mm. at tender age. Joseph was 17 mm. when he was detached. Mm. Daniel was also nearly the same so when they were taken to captivity yeah. to Babylon. Yeah. Jesus also left mm. his father's throne yeah. to come. Mm. They were all rejected by their family, yeah. Joseph and Jesus. Mm. But they all came Victorious. They work for the, the, the salvation of their kinsmen. Jesus yeah. came for our salvation. <laughs> Joseph the same. I think Amen. Joseph is a figure 
figuratively. Mm -hmm. uh, it stands for Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the wonderful inputs. I'll finish by saying this. Uh, uh, all Joseph's dreams came true, and uh, it took a long time, yes, but it came true. Uh, we don't, we don't, we don't need to complain. We don't read of him complaining, even when he was treated unfairly, even when he didn't, he did not become bitter or depressed. Uh, instead, he took. They say that he seized every opportunity to help and even to serve others. When you serve, do you complain? You, uh, I'm the only one serving in this church. Actually, I'm the one who come every day. You are not serving people, you are serving God. <laughs> From Joseph, we see that even in our toughest moments, we can still find strength and hope in God. Amen. He can turn our obstacles into stepping stone for our next great move. He says in Jeremiah chapter number 29, verse number 11, that he has good plans for you. Mm. The only part that you have to play is being what? Faithful. Faithful. Oh, brother, be faithful. That is the song. It calls us and asks us that, will you be faithful? All things that are written in the word of God, beloved, are for our, our admonition that we, whose the ends of the world has come, that we may learn and apply it. The greatest challenge we have in this life is to study the word of God and fail to apply it in our lives. It will be futile to study it and not apply. But how I pray for you and myself that as we study, May these words be wonderful words of life, a sweet savor unto our life, that it will move us a step closer to God each and every day of our lives. Apart from that, seek Jesus today, make him your first, your best, and your last. He will take you to places you've never dreamed of. May the Lord bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you. Amen. I'll uh, invite uh, Brother Nikok to pray with us. Okay, let us pray. Thank you, Lord, once again for giving us a chance so that we can go to study together. We have learned about the story of Joseph and we've seen how faithful he was. I pray in a special way that you help us so that we can be faithful to you. And even in points of distress, we may be able to always remember to be faithful to you and that you may be able to lift us up, fulfill the desires of our hearts. Bless the viewers as well. It is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much. Our sign language interpreter has been Sarah in your cabby. And uh, thank you so much for our panelists and uh, keep watching Hope Channel Kenya. You will find so many of other programs uh, in our YouTube channel, Hope Channel Kenya. May the Lord bless you and keep you. See you next time.